Well, welcome to my next video. This video is going to be on question number two for UAL Computer Science. And question number two is, if not all the time, always going to be about uh, evaluation. So when we evaluate numbers, we often use PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Uh, there's one more operator in uh, Java, and it is the modulus operator, which is represented by a percent sign. Now, this actually gives us the remainder. And the modulus has same precedence as multiplication and division. So really, if you want, it can be PEM or PEM does, where these guys are the same and these guys have the same precedence. So going from left to right, multiplication, modulus, and division will have the same precedence. So whichever one you see first is what you're going to do first. Um, but how do we do modulus? Let's give some examples. Let's say we have two mod three the answer would be two. Because when you do two divided by three, you get zero with the remainder of two. If you had six mod four, the answer would be two. Because when you do six divided by four, you get one with the remainder of two. If you have 10 mod five, the answer is gonna be zero because five goes into 10 two times. Now, what if you had a negative number in the modulus? Uh, for example, what if we had um, negative 6 mod 4? The answer would be negative 2. If you had 6 mod negative 4, the answer is going to be 2. Not negative 2, positive 2. Now, if you had negative 6 mod negative 4, your answer is going to be negative 2. So basically, what happens is, if... Let's say we had A mod B, just like a general term. If A is positive, regardless of what B is, it could be positive or negative, then the answer can be positive. So it takes a sign of what A is. Now, if A is negative, regardless of whether B is positive or negative, then your answer is going to be negative. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, now let's get into actual uh, evaluation. So let me just put this in frame real quick. Oops. Okay, let's see we're at 2 divided by 5. The answer we know is 0 0.4. But in Java, the actual answer is 0. Why? Well, there's this thing called truncating the decimal. Basically, why we truncate the decimal is because these two numbers are both ints, right? Two is an integer and five is an integer two. Uh, so you must have an integer value. And 0 0.4 is not an integer value, so it chops off the decimal and anything past it. It only wants to put several to the left of the decimal. In this case, it's a zero. So the answer is gonna be a zero. Now, um, to fix this, what you can do is you can do a thing called typecasting. And what that does is that you want to cast this two as a double. What you do is you write double, in parentheses, and then two divided by five. So what happens is this two right here becomes a double. So it becomes 2.0 divided by five. But now what ends up happening is that because a two is now a double, um, it, this thing is called a type promotion. So basically, whatever uh, type promotion is, it converts all the operands up to the type of the largest operand. So because the largest operand in this case is a double, because a double has uh, a size of 64, it, it can hold more storage, more memory. Uh, double is the largest operand in this case because five is an integer. So it's gonna convert this five into a double two. So now it becomes 2.0 divided by 5.0, which is 0 0.4, and that's your answer. So if one of them is a double, let's say it was, in, let's say originally, 
it was 2.0 divided by 5, then the answer is going to be 0 0.4. Just keep in mind that as long as 1's a double, the whole answer is going to be a double. Um, now, this is not the same if we do double 2 divided by 5. Why? Because the, act the actual answer is 0, 0.0. Because these, the 2 and the 5 are both introduced to. And notice how they're in parentheses. This wasn't in parentheses. This is. So it's going to get the answer of whatever is the parentheses first. And then it's going to cast it as a double. So that's why it's going to be double 0, which becomes 0, 0.0. Now, you don't have to always cast with the double. If you want, it could have been float 2. It could have been float 2 and float. And you could still get the same answer. So basically, um, if you have memory issues, like let's say you want to convert like a long to an int or like a double to an int, then you're going to have to use typecasting because of memory issues and memory loss and you don't want that and Java doesn't like that too. So you're going to have to do some uh, type uh, typecasting. Um, now the next thing I need to go over before we get into some example problems is string concatenation. I shouldn't have. Oh, too late. Put this in the frame. String concatenation. What string concatenation is, is it just, think of it as a magnet. Concatenation. If we had hello, and we're going to add it to world, then our answer is going to be hello world. Notice how the two words get like stuck together. Um, now, what if we add 3 plus 4 plus high plus 3 plus 4? Well, you evaluate everything to the left of the string, and then the, mag the magnet starts taking into effect. So 3 plus 4 is 7, and then you're going to add high, and then 3, and then 4, and this becomes 7 high plus 3, plus 4, and this becomes 7 high, 3, plus 4, and then eventually it becomes 7 high, 3, 4. So yes, think of it as a magnet. The string just makes everything get stuck to it. It just like pulls all the answers together, but it really pulls all the answers to the right of it. To the left of it, you're going to have to do your normal uh, evaluation. That's how we got the 7 over here. Um, so let's try some example problems real quick. So let's say we had int x equals 3, int y equals x plus 1 times x plus 2 system dot out dot print and then y so this is a you probably haven't seen this before but what happens is that this the x and the y are an int so whatever value they get it's being stored as an int and this is the what you use if you want to print something now this ln right here I can't even tell what said print ln. It means print whatever you want to print and then create a new line. Um, but yeah, that's just basically how you print stuff. So now we're just going to replace the x with 3 because you want to print y. So it becomes 3 plus 1 times 3 plus 2. You do PEMDAS. 1 times 3 is 3. So it's 3 plus 3 plus 2, which equals to 8. So your answer is 8. Another example is 23 divided by 10 mod 3 minus 4. 
Well, we know that multiplication, division, and modulus all have equal presidents. And that's greater than addition and subtraction. So from left to right, you're just going to uh, evaluate it. 23 divided by 10 is 2. It's not 2.3, it's 2 because both of them are integers. Then it's 2 mod 3 minus 4. 2 mod 3 is 2. You divide 2 divided by 3, you get 0 with the remainder of 2. So now it's 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. And that's your answer. Right? Remember, modulus is in the same presidence as multiplication and division. Don't forget that. Um, and then last uh, example. Out dot print. Out land. This is another way of printing stuff. Uh, a thousand minus fifty plus two. Well, a thousand minus fifty. Remember, you do you evaluate everything to the left of the string, and then the magnet starts to pull each other, right? Thousand minus fifty is nine hundred fifty, and you're gonna add that to the string two. Remember, this is a string, not a number. It's a string. So when you add it, it actually becomes nine five zero two. Now, in your answer choice, you're not gonna have the string. In your answer, it's actually gonna be nine five zero two like that. When you print strings, the quotation does not get printed. Okay just whatever it is like or whatever got printed just know that this is a string not a number it's a string okay um and yeah that's pretty much question number two in a nutshell it just wants a test to know if you can add subtract multiply divide get the remainder basically what it, it wants to let you it wants to test your knowledge of order operations but the computer science way the programming way you know uh, not this algebraic way, um, even though sometimes, well, never mind, forget what I said, just do it the computer science way. So er everything you learned, like all the PEMDAs you learned in school, it's going to be different than the PEMDAs in, or the PEM does in computer science. Um, I think our next video is going to be about Boolean, so just stay tuned. Mm -hmm.